What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today. Uh, we are going to be going over a new strategy that I have been using um, in my uh, on my Town Hall 8. It is, let's see, we have Giants, we've got <coughs> Giants, Barbarians, and Archers. So it's like Barch, but I guess it would be Gibarch or Barchant or something like that. Um, it's kind of like Garch, which is Giants and Archers, uh, but we're just throwing in some Barbarians into it. It's been working pretty well for me. Let's go ahead and <clears throat> replay this one right down here. So generally, I'll have 10 uh, Wall Breakers in it, but not always because sometimes I don't use them all or they die like that right there. So it's either 8 to 10 you can choose, and then 20 Giants, <clears throat> and this is me even doing it without spells. So it's a good strategy to just have trained up you can boost your barracks you can work on it like that and um you can attack without your spells and do pretty well because sometimes let's be honest it's annoying waiting on spells even though we can boost them in the factory they still take a lot longer than the troops do so you need a strategy that works without spells and that works even better with spells but i guess almost all strategies work better with spells so uh we'll be honest there but as you can see what's going on in the background so I drop all my giants off on one side, they start working their way around, and then our archers come in and <clears throat> start getting to work. So, for those of you guys who uh, want to raid every 20 minutes or so um, without boosting, then this is a great strategy for you guys because it takes about 21 minutes. If you're boosted, then it only takes about 5 minutes to train up. Um, and now that we have the issue of the fourth mortar out, uh, Barge is going to be a little harder to work with, so you're going to have to bring in some heavy hitters like the Giants to get in here and uh, take out the Mortars or distract the Mortars, things of that sort, and then get your Barbarians and your Archers up in there. So there's a couple of gold mines left over. This, uh, this Mortar up here is doing a good amount of work. I don't know why those Archers ran past that Archer Tower and straight to that army camp. Um, but they are doing a little bit of work on that gold mine for us, which is exactly what we want them to do. And then we are all out of our troops. This guy's got a Halloween headstone uh, right down there as well. So that was a good raid. Um, why don't we go ahead and we'll attack right now, see what we can find. Yes, I would like to break my shield. And we've got ourselves some stuff that we can probably upgrade. So I'm looking forward to that. We've only got one rage spell right now. So this is going to be a perfect example of... Um, you either using the spells that you get when you get them. I normally train up two heals in a rage or two rage and a heals just to uh, and a heal just to help the giant stay up a little bit longer. Um, but we'll go ahead and skip out because I know that some of you guys hate watching people search. Or I could just attack this base because it does have um, an okay amount of elixir on it, and this is a pretty good representation of. Um, the kind of bases that you guys might face. So we'll go ahead and attack this one. You can see he's got two mortars right over here on the side. So I'm going to attack from there and just go ahead and get these mortars out of the way. We're going to drop these giants down, wait for the mortars to hit, drop off our wall breakers so that they can get in there when the mortars aren't doing damage. Get these guys up in here and drop off more wall breakers right there. And then we can go ahead and start spreading out some of our troops. We're going to drop this rage right here so that as the giants spread on over there, they can just start doing some serious work. We'll drop off um, our other, oh no, he's got clan castle troops. We dropped off the rest of our wall breakers out there. These giants are going to get wrecked unless we can get some DPS in there um, to get rid of those clan castle troops. But our, our troops are not going up in there. I really want to get some of that dark elixir as well. There they go. All right, so all of his troops are distracted, but all of our giants are now down because of those clan castle troops. If we'd had a lightning spell or anything along those lines, then that would have made that a lot easier on us. We are, however, going to come in here and get as much of this Dark Elixir as possible. I don't know how his clan castle troops are still alive, but I guess it's because he also has that Tesla in there doing some work. Um, all right, so now we should definitely take them out because we've got way more archers. There we go. So they're going to take out the town hall, and hopefully once they're done with the town hall, they will head over, and I think we only have about... Uh, maybe six of them right there. Uh, so we are going to get a uh, star from this, uh, which will give us our loot bonus as well, which you always want to try and get unless you're in a trophy range that you really like. Hopefully we can get down here to this elixir, take some more out. Okay, so there were a lot more than I thought. 
Come on, take, oh no, that mortar's gonna take them all out. So there goes that, we weren't able, the, the death of that attack strategy right there was those clan castle troops. Why? Okay, so we saw that little archer right there, and zap, you're done. So the death of that was those clan castle troops because they took out all of the giants. So if you have a lightning spell with you, then obviously that would help out a lot more. Or you could just pull out the uh, you could pull out the troops um, before the attack, which I always forget to do. I always forget to pull out clan castle troops. But uh, why don't we see what we can upgrade? I kind of want to upgrade some walls right now. Uh, I know I can upgrade those Teslas. Uh, all the Teslas are level four right now. It looks like yeah. So all the Teslas are level four right now. This is gonna be done in twenty minutes. I want to save my gold for that. Should I just I'm just gonna finish it just so that we can upgrade this for you guys. So eight hundred thousand up to level five. Four days. Yeah, we haven't even been able to use our fourth mortar on defense yet because I've just been upgrading it, which is ridiculous. <laughs> So let's see what we can do. Can we research anything? No, we can't research anything. And when it comes to upgrading, all of our cannons are upgraded. All of our archers are level 10. I believe level 10, level 10, level 10, level 10. Yep, yep, yep. All of those are upgraded. All of our mortars are maxed out besides the new one. All of our wizards are maxed. I guess um, next thing we could do is Tesla's after that, but I kind of want to upgrade some walls like I was just saying. So we're gonna start working on the core of the base. I'm gonna use a little bit of elixir right there and then we're going to start working on this with gold because honestly, if you run into a Town Hall 8 with all max walls, it's a little bit intimidating. So I think that's what I'm gonna start working on is my walls, getting those up, boosting those. And uh, yeah, but let's go ahead and watch one more attack uh, from earlier. This one right here is the gizzard attack strategy. This base, uh, was actually surprisingly really, really good at messing with my giants. Um, they go all the way up and will completely turn around, as you'll see, because there's so many entrances. So all these giants are going to walk over here. You can see these giants over here are on this wizard tower, and they walk all the way back to this mortar over here just because it's open. So um, I might try and come up with some sort of a base design like this on my Town Hall 10 to see how well it works because as you can see they are just getting super distracted and I think that even these giants instead of going through the wall right there walk all the way back around yeah so they walk all the way back around um, which takes so much time uh, and is super super annoying so after seeing this attack and after seeing how well it worked at kiting or like distracting my troops around the base, I'm totally gonna build a base like this and see how well uh, it can do. So we've got our wizards up here. They're still picking away at some of the resources. We've only got about 10 seconds left and uh, we're gonna take out as much of that elixir as possible. So we've got an okay amount of loot, but that base right there, if you were watching this video, I don't know who all watches my videos or whatnot, your base definitely inspired me to come up with a new kind of base design that is going to piss off golems and giant so we'll see how that works but anyways guys thank you so much for watching with this new attack strategy uh with the guy arch i guess um or whatever you want to call it uh and then the gizzard attack strategy they're working pretty well again boost your barracks and uh train it up it's 20 giants about 8 to 10 wall breakers 20 to 25 barbarians and the rest of archers and it should work pretty well for you guys. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, though. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, guys. And as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, all right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.